All right, Jason's got his uh, solo up in the air, his his beautiful modified solo with the long legs and the sultry lights and all that stuff. He's about to show us, it's bulk collection week in his neighborhood. He's about to show us how you do multi-point uh, cable cam. Yep, so I started in the middle of the field. It's the first time I've tested this. We're just gonna start simple because there's people out here. Okay, so then we do, we're gonna end the point right there. And then you can see there's multiple waypoints on there now. So all I should need to do is move the stick left and right, and it's just basically gonna cycle through. There's a waypoint. It also does altitude. And then we should wind up back at the center of the field there. So yeah. you didn't actually fly it. Um, you just pushed the stick with those waypoints. Yeah, yeah, after you set the waypoints. And the cool thing about, about it is it will remember the waypoints. There we go, it's just going back through its thing again. Uh, wow. Which means you can record it, you can come back to the same location later, and uh, it will remember it. And supposedly from what I read, I think it is specific to GPS coordinates. At first I thought I was reading, people were saying it was relative, so you could run it anywhere, but I don't think that's the case. So if you tried to run it in a different field, it would want to come back here? Uh, here <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that, or it might just tell you it can't fly it. That's a good point have to read up on that one but so I you're mean, saying you can actually save this this set of programs that you made yeah you can you can it will remember and I think I can just do that it'll automatically go to the next point yeah there we go nice uh, except it's not actually moving huh it's just sitting there oh wait there it goes right out of now it's now it's doing it yep all right so you know what we should do we should set uh, waypoint here that goes through the goalpost, <laughs> goes goes around the goalpost, and then lands in front of the goalpost or something oh, like that. Oh, that sounds like uh, an accident <laughs> waiting to happen. We but should do that with yours. <laughs> yeah, I got prop guards, why not, right? <laughs> sounds fun. All right, are you gonna do it? Yeah, we can try it, sure. All right. I doubt it'll do a circular pattern. Oh well, yeah, you we can do a square. Yeah, you can do a square all the way yeah. around the around the goalpost. So there's the goalpost. There's one. There's two. Three. I'm just setting a bunch. Very uh, high resolution path. Four. Five. Oh, and you're having it actually fly forward the whole time, too, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> all right, you, so you got all these waypoints on there, as we can see, and uh, you're just going to hit play and see if it goes. Well, it's going to go backwards now at this point. Why is it going backwards? Well, because I'm at the end of the cable cam, right? Oh, I see. So it's going back through them all. And you're not doing a thing, except no, pushing just, the stick. just moving left. Pushing the stick left, and it's automatically going yeah, to all these Yeah, I mean, it uses GPS, right? So you've got a margin of error. You can already tell it's further away a little bit than it was when I started, but not much. Okay, so we are recording Jason's cable cam from my solo yep. above so we, uh, his. You go on to save shots and um, you hit load shot and it will just fly back uh, to where it needs to be. But that's a consideration is to make sure from wherever your solo is that it has a clear path to where it needs to go. So obviously this is a little risky with all these poles, but it just goes right back to what it's supposed to do. That's, that's quite impressive. I like that a lot. Run it backwards one time. And you, you're running it fairly fast. Yeah. Does does it go speed depending on how hard you push the stick? Yes. Nice. Yep. All right, so we are going to try out the new. We're going to try out the new uh, follow me feature 
that supposedly will follow the person with the um, with the tablet or cell phone uh, yeah. running running the the 3DR Solo yeah. uh, app, right? Yep. So I've got the um, I've got the remote. My Solo is off. Jason's turning it on. The camera is should be on. Yeah, control now. You're recording. Yep. Okay. Hold the fly. Okay. So now you do follow me, or do I do follow me? I can do it down here. Okay. You just hit follow me. And I'm not doing a thing to the sticks here. And it's following Jason. All right, I'm going to try the yaw. Yep. Turn in the yaw uh, of the bird, although... Alright, I'm going to try altitude. Yeah, I just took it up a little bit higher. It is still following him. I'm going to bring it down. All right, now take off running. It's not very smooth. So he's got the uh, iPad, and I have the... He has the iPad, and I have the remote. What'd you do there? Can you see yourself? Huh? Can you see yourself? Has it got a shot of you? Follow me seems to work. So you can also you can also orbit it. See? You hit orbit, you hit play and it just orbits. Oh and then you can pause it. Nice. Oh, so that's how you were moving it. Yeah. Wow. And I'm sure you can probably control the tightness of the orbit over there. Yeah, just pull this, push so this free forward. Look, free look is supposed to be control altitude with left paddle. That's this one here. So free look, yeah. Is that the paddle? Yeah. Yeah. Free look supposedly lets you fully control the camera and like direction with one of the, I don't remember exactly how it works, 
basically frees up all the flight controls except altitude and you're only focusing on adjusting where the camera is looking so i think between yaw and the paddle like you don't really do anything except worry about altitude i'm gonna turn it off and so the so the oh because that's how i was controlling altitude with the um with yeah. the paddle yeah 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 so so if we walk it keeps if we walk around like this it rotates towards us now there is, a, yeah, now there is a look at me, so let's try that. That's the yaw, there it goes. Okay, because I'm not doing any yawing. Yeah, see? <laughs> That's the look at me mode. It's not very smooth. Yeah. But if you stop, do you, if you stop, will it catch up? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's supposed to center you in the frame, roughly. It's not bad, left to right anyway. Yeah. And then can I control the the tip here? Yeah. Oh, I, I turned it. Yeah. Yeah, you can control the angle. You got 60% okay. battery, so. So there, we're right in the middle. <laughs> so you initiated all this on the iPad. Yeah. Yep. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Now, if you get closer, it should... Now we're freaking it out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, when you get right under it. Doesn't quite know what to do. Where'd you go? I can't find you. <laughs> Interesting. But if you hit orbit right now, Take it up above the uh, yeah. the post. Probably a wise move. So that's orbit. Yeah. Nice. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, the orbit's really impressive. Yeah. Pretty slick. And all pretty intuitive in the app, right? Huh? Once yeah. you push the right button, you yeah. just kind of mess with it a little bit. Put it back in, uh, in fly mode now. All right.